Hello, this is Mentor Sabrina, and we will start the first lesson of the Interactive Labeled Diagram uh, in Scratch project. And for this, we will be using an animal cell and labeling that. So the first thing you should do is save the image. So in the course, you'll see there's this image right here. You can use any image you'd like, but let's save this one first. So you right click it, or if you're on a Chromebook, you use two fingers and click. Then you click Save Image As, and you choose where you want to save it. So I go to my desktop and save it as Cell. Next, what you want to do is in Scratch, we want to go to, on the bottom here, we click on Stage. I'm going to close this down here. Click on Stage, then click on Backdrops. Then choose the Upload Backdrop from File button. And navigate to your image. Mine is right on my desktop, so I click on that. And it appears here. Now, I also want to delete this empty backdrop, so I click the little X. And now I just have my cell. Now the next step we want to do is we want to delete the scratch cap. So click on the little scissor right at the top, and then click on the scratch cat on the stage. Then he disappears. Now, for each thing that I want to label, I'm going to have a little tiny square. It's gonna, each square is going to be a different color. I'm going to have a little tiny square that when you roll your mouse over it, it'll say what it is. And when you click it, your mouse on it, it'll say what that part of the cell does. So to create this, we want to draw a new sprite. So from the bottom, you'll see it says New Sprite. You want to choose the Paint New Sprite button. So click on that. And it should bring you to this editor here. Now, what we want to do is we want to draw a square. So to do that, we click on the Rectangle tool. And then down at the bottom, we choose the Filled Rectangle. Then choose the color you want it to be. I'll go with red for the first one. And to draw the square, you click, hold your mouse down, and then drag your mouse. And that draws the square. When you let go, you'll see that there are these little tiny squares all around it. You can use those to make your square smaller. Now you want your square to be small, but not too small. Once you think it's at the right size, you can also drag it if you put your mouse over the middle, and you can drag it somewhere. Click anywhere so that it appears on the screen over here. Then drag it to what you want it to label. This is going to label the nucleus, so I will place it on the nucleus. That's how you create one. To create multiples of them, because we need one for every part of the cell we want to label, with the sprite down here, we want to click on the duplicate button, which is the stamp that's right next to the scissor. And then we want to click on the sprite down here. Or maybe it's over here. Yes, okay, we want to click on it up in the stage. That creates another sprite, and we want to change its color. So let's choose a different color. And then you choose, choose a different color, and then choose the fill with color tool here, the paint bucket and then click inside the square. That changes the color of the square, and you can place it on the next thing you want to label. In this case, it's the nucleolus. If after you have drawn the square, you think it's still too big, you can make it smaller by clicking on the shrink button at the top, which is the four inward pointing arrows. And then in the editor, on the editor side, click on the sprite in here. And you should see it get smaller over here, okay? If it gets too small, you click on grow and you make it grow a bit. And that is all I need to show you for this lesson. Simply duplicate these sprites and place them wherever you want to, on all the pieces you want to label. And we'll be writing the code in the next lesson.